This scenario covers Procure to Pay. Create a purchase order in the local system using the standard SAP transaction for our vendor F1V1. Payments made out of this company code will be executed in the Central Finance Target System. We receive a warning message that our tax code is missing. But then we see a confirmation message that the PO was created. Next, we need to release the purchase order. Based on the purchase order release strategy, Purchasing Manager and then Purchasing Manager 2 release the order. The third step in our standard procurement scenario is to post the goods receipt. We post the goods receipt for our purchase order and the material document is posted. We view the material document we posted in the local source system and view the related accounting documents. We move to the target central finance screen on the right side where we run the program to compare replicated documents, searching specifically for our document from the source system. We open the view of the document in Q7Q, and then we open it again in the Target Central Finance System and see that even the more complicated postings related to goods movement were replicated. The reference key includes information that ties back to the material document and year. Next, we enter an invoice received from our vendor in the local system tied to our purchase order. This creates an invoice receipt document. The document flow function provides links to additional documents and their document numbers. We move to the target central finance screen on the right side where we run the program to compare replicated documents, where we look for 5100010 in our source system Q7Q. We can see the source document but the target document field is empty. Using SAP's application interface framework, the end user can address this type of error. If posting is not possible due to an error, the document is shown in AIF along with error details. Necessary corrections or adjustments, such as mapping or configuration, can be performed in the central system. Afterwards, the document can be reposted. We use the AIF error handling tool to view the status of the replication error. We identify the specific error with the reference document number that refers to the reference key in the header information of the invoice receipt. The log tells us the problem was that the vendor account was blocked for posting. We go into the transaction to change the vendor in the central finance system 
for our vendor JS4711. We remove the posting block for all company codes. Finally, we restart the replication from the AIF error handling transaction. Rechecking the replication confirms that there is a document number in both the target and source columns. The header shows the same reference key pointing to the invoice receipt in the local system Q7Q. That was a short demo to provide information on SAP Central Finance. Thank you for watching our short video tutorial.